Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Within this video, I'm going to be teaching you the following things. Uh, basically, talk about, a little bit about keywords, uh, give you a few tips uh, whenever you're learning Java. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to print to the console, and I'm going to teach you a few escape sequences that you can use. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So when I run my program, you're going to notice that it's working properly. And let me go ahead and delete these multi-line comments. And I'm going to show you this. So we just have the words, hello world. And you see these words in blue? These are our keywords, OK? This one is a class keyword, which is basically that we have a class called main. All right, the next keyword that we have is public. You can think about the word public in terms of access. When something is made public, it means that it's visible for other parts of your program to see. The word static, I'm not going to get into it too much because it's a little bit uh, complicated uh, to describe when you're barely starting off in Java. But the, and the word void, if you have done functions or methods in another program or procedures, um, just knows that it means that it doesn't have to, you don't have to return a value. And to return a value, you gotta use the keyword return. Okay, so we don't we don't have to use this keyword in here. Okay, so then of course uh, we're gonna move on. So whenever you create a new program in Java, usually whenever you have an IDE, uh, it's always gonna pull this up for you. Okay, no matter what, um, and it's always gonna usually it's gonna have the system out print. And I like to use the IDE for um, repo.com. That's what I usually use for my videos. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Let's go ahead and give you a few tips. So tip number one, when you're starting in Java, is that you're going to have to understand that uh, within Java, there is going to be a lot of use of parentheses. If you have my open parentheses right here, and then your closed parentheses. And it's the same thing with the curly braces, OK? And the cool thing about the IDEs is if you notice, like how I, I'm clicking on this one, and it's giving me the cursor, I mean, the, the curly brace that it belongs to. And it's the same thing with the parentheses as well. That's a pretty cool feature that was added. So make sure that you're keeping track of these. You always, most for the most part, you're going to have to enclose whenever you use parentheses. You're going to have to use both the open and then ending and the closing uh, parentheses. And it's the same thing for the curly, bra uh, the curly braces. And then do not forget about your semicolons. These are going to be very important as if you do not put them, it, you're going to run into a compiling error. There you go. And it gives that to me right here. And it tells me that it's expecting this one right here. Cool. And it's not that bad. We know for this one, and it's the same thing for the parentheses. If you forget it, it just tells you. Whenever you, let's say you forget a curly brace, however, it's going to give you a different kind of error. I think it's going to be called the parsing error. Uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm missing this one. So it tells me it's missing. And whenever you start creating a lot of different methods, it's going to get a little bit complicated. So what I like to do is give you this tip. I always like to say that this one is end of main, put a comment. So you use two forward slashes to signify uh, that you are um, that where does where this curly brace belongs to, and then this one I do end of class, and it helps me keep track of all of that. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing is printing to the console. So easily we have two different things that we use. We can use system out print ln and system out print, and that's it. Okay. And we can throw string literals in there. What string literal are is basically that they don't change. Whatever you put in between these two quotation marks is what you're going to have. And that's the same thing within the quotation marks. You've got to have two of them as well. So we're going to put hello all, and then how are you all? Okay. So this one is going to create a new line, whereas this one just prints on the same line. So let me go ahead and run it for you all so you can see what that looks like. So you see the hello world, since it doesn't have the words ln, it prints in the same line as hello all. So the ln makes a new line 
after your string literal, okay? You see, after hello all, it creates a new line and it goes into this one. How are you all? There you go. And this is how you interact with the console right here. Last thing is, for example, let's see for this one, if I wanted to have it, if uh, I'm gonna use the escape sequence, which is a backward slash and then N, and you see how it turned pink? This is reserved right here for within a replica.com. It turns into pink and it tells them that this is a new escape sequence. So you see now we're gonna have hello world, hello all, and how are you all? And in, um, in different lines, all of them. Another keyword, I mean, uh, another escape sequence that you're probably gonna use is this one right here. So backslash T, there you go, which is basically, it's like, it works like the tab key on your keyboard. Just basically it does an indentation. Cool. So pretty much that's it for this video. Hopefully this is helpful. And uh, what I would really suggest for you to do is just to practice uh, typing this out system out print L, LN, uh, make sure that you get, so you get it right. You know, uh, practice makes perfect. Do a couple of like about 10 um, system out prints with, uh, without the new line and then with the new line. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching.